and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. Michael Cole here alongside Byron Saxton and Corey Graves. This place is electric right now, Michael. Look, I've got goosebumps. Nah, uh, nobody wants to see your goosebumps, Saxton. They're here to see the blue brand in all its glory, so let's... She was once one of the sweetest. She's now one of the meanest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bayley. You know, there was a time where Bayley was actually one of my favorites. Now she's arrogant, and she even ignores me in the hallway. Oh, Saxton, don't you dare question Bayley's confidence. Ding dong, hello. She's earned that confidence. I've witnessed her first several days at FCW. This is the, not only a different competitor, but a completely different woman. She is the epitome of ambition. A true role model. Corey, you think she can be great on commentary with you? I have my doubts, but let's just have Bailey stick to the ring. Where she's at her best. I mean, this table already has its role model. Thank you. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Tremendous attitude, MMA background, punch you right in your face. As Sonya Deville once said, she feels like she was placed on this earth to hurt people. Such a force in the women's division from Tough Enough in 2015 to NXT in 2017. What a name she's beginning to make for herself in the WWE Universe. Bailey out here primed and ready for action. Uh, more like primed and ready to look for shortcuts. Bailey is more about winning at all costs than winning the right way these days. Some role model. Byron, I don't necessarily agree with Bailey's tactics in the ring lately, but you have to admit, before her makeover, so to speak, she'd racked up plenty of accomplishments all by herself. Bailey is more than capable in the ring, and I'd like to believe she'll be ready to bring the fight here tonight. Although, she's in for a challenge tonight against Sonya Deville, a competitor whose confident scowl says it all. Deville's a pure fighter and she knows it. Her belief in her own in-ring abilities could carry her to the win tonight. Well, you say confidence, Corey, where I might go as far as to say arrogance. But either way, there's no denying that when it comes to in-ring competition, Sonya Deville has got the goods. Bad predicament right here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. I have to wonder, Corey, what does one have to do to get an advantage over a veteran talent like Bailey? Plain and simple, Cole, don't let up. Don't give Bailey an inch because she will steal a mile from you. Essentially, beat Bailey in her own in-ring game and expect some underhand tactics along the way. And elusive Bailey there. Oh, kick connects. Laying in those shots in the corner. Reversal on Deville. Won't separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. Oh, what a kick! Striking the lower back. Now the superstar from the apron. Knee lifts over and over again. <laughs> Reminding her who all these people really paid to see. 
Right across the knee. My goodness. And a kick. That stretch could lead to a snap. On the apron, what's Bailey looking for? Hot shot stunner. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. One. Can you believe this? I love it. Ooh, bullseye. Ooh. Well, this is Sonya Deville with the reversal. Both wrists captured. Oh. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Nicely there. Six. Holding in on the arm. So take things into the ring. Seven. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Yeah. Climbs back inside. Going up top. where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. High angle, belly of back suplex. Deville is struggling to defend herself. Sonya keeps getting cut down. <laughs> Bailey left an opening for the counter. Yeah, Sonya getting some newly determined. This can't burn well. She had enough to kick out, but needs to get on the offensive now. Is there still enough left to try that maneuver again? Or is her confidence shaken? What a confident attack by Sonya Deville. Such pure fighting ability. You have the sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Position a whole lot here. Enough already. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Sliding back into the action. Eight. Manages to beat the count and get back in the ring. With no time to spare, really. She's got an answer for that. but had the wherewithal to force her shoulder up. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your cradle up standing. Time to reload. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. What a clothesline! Ouch! Big form! Takeover, slowing down the pace. Oh, tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Bailey zeroing in on her. Bailey could be thinking about the end. There's the last plant. Is it enough for Bailey? Cover two, and she's still in the game. I would have bet this was.
goes long after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. And Bailey can barely believe it. Bailey had her dead right, so she had to grab it. It was a factor of milliseconds. And listen to the... Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Oh, Bailey dreams about the end here in this match. Can she hang on? Can she hold on? Picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. You've got to be humiliated and embarrassed. is the luckiest man in WWE. Why? I would agree with that assessment. Let's talk about this, Cole. From riches to lags, back to riches. How can you not be inspired by Happy Corbin? He doesn't have to rub it in our face. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy is one big happy jerk. Spoken like a true Get loser. The king of flight is going to have to live up to his name against the much bigger Corbin tonight. Kalisto's got more guts than brains, but guess what? Baron Corbin has guts and brains and brawn. And they both have a lot of hatred for one another. Oh, God! He's heading up top, thinking big! of being self-interested and disrespectful. The guy does what... Over the top rope he goes! He's gonna fly! No! Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, that'll weaken your arm.
Pick up your teeth in the third row. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Look out! Exploder suplex! Elbow smash! Nasty right hand! Answers with an Enziguri! Crashing to the floor! And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Tilt the world head scissors. Three. Four. Oh, great. We are into the ringside furniture here. running out. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, Where the dog is that one? And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, bang! Face first! He steps foot in the ring again. Five! Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. He's taking this to the floor now. And Corbin may have felt that coming. He's absorbed some damage already. Outside count outs legal in this match. Whoa. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Right across the face. Kick to the midsection. Something flip.
Corey. She's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Hey, Michael. Of course. What? It's great! I'm surprised you enjoyed it this much, Zach, from seeing how you're afraid of the dark. Well, I'm having a night, but it feels okay. The glow, the energy, the excitement. This is how Naomi prepares to bring her best self. Never signs the way from competition. Always seizing the opportunity to get better. That's what fueling the glow is all about. We know that Naomi will try and feel the glow and steal the show here tonight, but what can we expect from Carmella? Princess of Staten Island is going to take the fight to Naomi. The question remains if that fight is going to be good enough. Making that shoulder a priority. Rolling neck snap. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Ready for Tiger! Mella able to defend against that. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh! Oh my god, what a move! Oh, a snap there! Cover! She kicks out of one. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Oh, and she had Naomi's number. Wants her set up in the corner. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Watch this. Watch the athleticism here. Uh-oh. Destructive arm breaker. Well, Byron, Naomi has been lighting up the WWE Universe, making everyone feel that glow. Oh, you're right, Michael. Talking to Naomi earlier, she knows she's got to take it to the skies to shut down the pugnacious princess of Staten Island. And with her athletic moves, I expect her to succeed. Yeah, but if anyone can make Carmella stoop to desperate measures, it's a competitor like Naomi. Yeah, Carmella sure has been a thorn in her side, but something about this match feels different. Right to the spine. Quick thinking from Naomi. Carmella eludes that. A counter answer by another counter. She's beginning to flag a little. Okay. Up and down. Knee drop right on target. Stomping down. Great counter. in the corner. Now he is some athlete. Oh, oh, oh. What a and she goes for the pin. One, two. No shoulders up at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Naomi thinking big. From the top. Nobody home. Feel it, guys. Feel it. it is. I'm feeling it. 
You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Can she hang on? She might tap out. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? performance. Boom! Knee drop right on target. Saw that one coming! Took advantage. Got <laughs> face after that one. Naomi showing her instinct. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. She did a home work there. Pick up your teeth in the third row. This match is wearing her down. There's been plenty of... <laughs> Feel the glow! There it is. It is. It's locked in. Is she going to tap, tap, tap? Tap, tap, tap? What does she have to do to get out of this? Tap out! Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she said... We got a cover! Willie had less than a second to stay alive there. Byron, in the world of romance, this is what we call oh, the French kiss. I've seen that move before. Scratching and clawing, this could be it. One, two, no! Kick out of two. She just will not go away.
and her opponent, first, from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey Shea, a six-time champion. accomplished in her career. And then talk about her all-time great rivalries with Trish Stratus and Beth Phoenix. Oh, Mickey got a list of great matches a mile long, but let's talk about her sixth women's championship. Mickey has an opportunity tonight to make a little bit more history. Lightning from down under. She's held the NXT UK Women's Championship and was the 2018 May Young Classic winner. And from Gold Coast, Australia, Tony Storm. Traveled the world before coming to WWE and especially made a name in Japan. Tony Storm started training at the age of 13, one of the youngest competitors, but also one of the savviest veterans at this stage. Uh, certainly a dedicated superstar who now has a new focus. Tony's got lots of potential and she's getting better every day. Always a challenging matchup for any superstar. In this one, we'll see Charlotte, Mickey James, and Tony Storm. All three superstars will have to keep their head on the swivel. <laughs> Being carried around with ease. Fights out of trouble with a barrage of strikes. Flair moved at the right time. Double team up. You had two necks, they would have broken both of them. In a matchup like this, Corey, what is something the competitors need to remember? Well, a major difference in a triple threat is that you can lose a match without being part of the decision. Victory can be stolen from your hands in an instant. And that's why in this match, a competitor must be cunning, calculated, and move with silent speed. Done. She's pushed into the corner. The swing out. Beautiful neck breaker. Overhand right lands. Maggie's attack gets reversed. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Look at this fire. The legs are locked. Oh, oh, the end is near. No way she's. Oh, slipped through and escaped. That was pretty. Re-entering the ring now. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Oh, my God. What a slap. That's Disrespect. Oh, man. Kicks from all angles. On the mark. She's sent to the outside. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. She flips it back on her. She heads into the ring. Oh, the teeth. Well scouted by Charlotte. Oh my God, shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Charlotte turns it around. One kick. Uh-oh. That's teamwork. On oh, the mark. Back. Oh, God. Final cut. Perfectly executed. Oh, I need a That's going to hurt. in the opposition. Oh! A 
to the back. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. It's expected, Cole, in a triple threat. Oh, shot. Oh. 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 Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for us. The cover. Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Oh, that was more than close. That was inches away from three. Millimeters. The shot now for his head to an alternative. Do something else to end things. Return fire on Storm. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Oh, what a close line. As the leg drop, Fisherman suplex for the win. Quick count out after one. Amazing effort by her. This triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. The Queen! The Carefully placed stomp to the arm. She re-enters the ring now. Oof! Lands the haymaker. What a first DDT! Was mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Up high. Crushing impact with a seated senton. or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. James Tyler with that one. Places her right in the corner. Charlotte with a nice reversal. There it comes. Catches Mickey. Oh. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride, these fans a bit. The Queen stepping through. Here's the figure four. Yeah, now she's got Brims into the figure eight. If she can do it, she's gonna put this one away. And there it is. Oh yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring it. Charlotte Flair can tap out. Determined to outlast and outwork both of her opponents. In that case, Saxton, I'd say mission accomplished.
It's not fair. Oh, I question that. Has Roman Reigns made Jimmy and Jey Uso better, or has Roman Reigns actually divided the Usos? Let's go. It is just about impossible to overcome the bond that the Usos share, Saxton. And there's certainly no love loss when it comes to these superstars, Byron. So what you're saying is that you don't think they'll be exchanging holiday cards this year. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Umberto Carrillo. Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. We should also mention that there's plenty of ill will when it comes to these superstars. Which means these guys are likely more determined than ever to prove their superiority here tonight. In this tag team competition, we're going to see Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo. These teams have scouted each other very well. They've probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Oh, devastating impact to the back. Kick right to the back of the leg. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Up high, through the air, and connects. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Oh, it's ruthless striking. Great tag partner Cole is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Put into place. Oh, Joe Call the dentist. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Carrillo holds him off. Whatever's plan here can't be good. The least to Mike and Force. Get him into the corner. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. And there's a neck breaker. Oh, he fights Jay back. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Samoa drop. Incredible. Shoulders down. And he breaks the count quickly. Could be in search of a second win now. And set him up. Oh, and he That's going to hurt. Roberto isn't being given any space to regroup. Yeah, Jay has all the wheels turning now. Carrillo is showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Could be the table turner. Umberto yeah. desperately needed. And he gets the tag. Oh man, right 
to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Push. Ruthless striking. Arnie's great guy. Trying to step through. Here it comes. Single leg Boston Crab cinched in. And there's the save. What a 
raucous crowd here tonight. Jimmy Uso now wearing a crimson mask. Uh-oh. Blocked it! Way up there. Oof! He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. He's got it. Oh, <laughs> let's get it on. With the tag is Jey Uso. Producing a trampoline. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Quick strike to the lower body. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Super kick. He can end it here. He's got Refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Top rope. Jay nailed all of it. He keeps his team in the match. There they go. Elbow drop. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are in a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. Uh, Roberto Carrillo is such a great athlete. And here's an example. First uh, the headstand, and then the Aztec press. Jay is down and out. Two. Two. Near fall. you got to be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. Big move. But it's still unable to end this. Using the rope. Oh, rope. What a roundhouse kick. Hoping to end it here. One, two. Oh, my, still alive. Incredible resiliency. And just like that, he set crashing to the floor. There's Jimmy Uso landing awkward outside. He's gone for the pin, this could be it! And he's saved by the ropes! Uh-oh, jump right now! Call the dash! Going right after the neck! Neck breaker! His opponent is just overwhelming him here! I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the thump lady warming up! And Jimmy takes out even more damage! Humberto knows exactly what's at stake in this moment. Double underhook up and Luke Walker. Big opening for Garza to take this. Two. Two. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here are your winners. Humberto Carrillo and Angel Garza. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team.
Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. A relentless competitor, always fight night. A smash mouth brawler with technical brilliance, Philly style. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area? Once. Yeah, he got me too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt though that he can get it done in the ring. The first thing you notice about a guy like Shinsuke Nakamura has to be his swagger. Well, Shinsuke lives the rock star lifestyle in and out of the ring. It's difficult for anyone to take their eyes off of him. Well, we'll all be watching closely to see how this rock star fares in this matchup. Submission time! Can they get the grip locked in? He's incomplete. Well placed knees, trying to find a way out. Just Gulak. Nakamura sizing him up from the top. Perched up top. Will this be enough? One, two. I thought Gulak was down for three. Close one. Only had a little room to get the shoulder up and somehow ah. did. Paid it right back with a reversal. To the arm. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest, the Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal. But that said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even need the Kinshasa tonight. Measuring, oh, face stop. Nakamura might need to find a reprieve. Nakamura struggling with this onslaught. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. You don't see that very often. He's got him down, is this it? One, two. No, he pops the shoulder. Before three. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, now, Gulak's in ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. And the rock star Nakamura rocking his opponent with his signature hard hitting offense. Nakamura now looking so t oh, rolls through. Nice escape. Elbow smash. Oh. Oh. Say what you want about Shinsuke's breath. Here he goes for the win. strikes putting the shoulder in jeopardy there oh stomping away Gulak sidesteps effective arm drag Nakamura with decimating offense Nakamura is doing what he does best perusing his arsenal of brutal attacks and picking the one he thinks will inflict the most damage holding the shoulder hostage now Measuring. Oh, Here's the cover for the win. And that'll be a rope break right there. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal.
Does he have them here? Still only got one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. But Nakamura will have to remain on front. First up, Tom. And now he's there. That shoulder targeted there. Byron, what's up? Oh, we're about to find out. Oh my goodness. It's locked and just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Gulak. Shinsuke has him up. Landslide! Straining that trapezius muscle. Look at that insult to injury with that one. He's one step ahead there. Nakamura now looking so tough now. He may lose this thing. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Shoulders down. One, two. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. This is going to come down to who wants it more. I don't know how there is anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being empty tonight. So precise striking. Nakamura looking to finish this off. Reversal from Gulak. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. And concern being shown across Shinsuke's face at this point. Gulak has been such a hostile force during the course of this match. Did you expect anything less? Drew looking to sink it in. There is the Gulak. The Gulak locked in. Gulak's got the Gulak locked. There it is. And Drew Gulak is your winner. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win
From where I sit, the absolute greatest of all time, the 16-time champion. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John John Cena knows that his ethos in life is hustle, loyalty, and respect. A positive attitude that he always brings with him into the ring. And while his opponent tonight can count on being respected by Cena, it's John's hustle that he needs to watch out for. No question there. You gotta watch out for Sami Zayn, though. A scheming and untrustworthy superstar. There's no limit to what he might try. Sami will exploit any loophole he can to find in the rule book to help himself get the win, all while doing as little work as possible. Shame on you, Saxton. Sami is just as hardworking as any other superstar in WWE. Maybe even more so. His schemes, as you call them, often involve Sami putting himself at great personal risk in order to capture a fair victory. Why don't you educate yourself before making accusations? Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Just caught flush. And that cuts Cena right off. The springboard attack fails to land. Solid punch. Sammy's scheme sure weren't helping him out there. Yeah, Cena is hustling hard to take control in this match and dish out damage. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, Ooh, stiff punch. You know, Sami Zayn has proven to be a tenacious competitor. No matter what attacks get thrown his way, he just won't stay down. How do you work around that as his opponent? Well, Sami's as stubborn as they come, but you might be able to use that against him. If you can wear him out, Sami might get desperate and attempt riskier moves. That could give you a big opening to turn the tape. Soaring! Solely focused on... Ooh! Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Oh, into a powerbomb. Oh, boy, Byron. It's time for your favorite thing. Are you ready, Corey? Are you? Are you ready for the five-knuckle shuffle? This is that hustle you guys were talking about from six. Here's a cover. Could be it. It's boss time!
the following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks! A Grand Slam champion at WWE has won the Raw, SmackDown, and NXT women's titles as well as the women's tag team titles. How about the time she competed in the main event of WrestleMania against Bianca Belair? Women superstars today, Rhea Ripley. out to me about Rhea Ripley is her intense take no prisoners attitude in the ring. Well, no, Rhea's not here to make friends and influence people. She's here to win. And I'm sure she's ready to do whatever it takes to get that win here tonight. And then there's Sasha Banks. And I'll admit, she's certainly an exceptional talent. One of the best WWE has to offer. But she also has an exceptional ego. Calling herself the standard, the leader, the conversation. She should, you of all people should appreciate that Sasha Banks knows her work and makes sure everyone else does as well. She's the boss for a reason, and she certainly likes to remind her opponent what the reason is when the bell rings. Oh, what a plex. Ripley averts the attack. No secret that Rhea Ripley possesses terrifying strength. Does that give her an upper hand tonight? Absolutely. Rhea's ability to overpower the competition and throw them around the ring gives her an instant advantage. If she can get control over her opponent, this could be a quick match. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Banks had that well scouted. The boss keeping focus. Back and forth from these competitors. Ooh! this to the floor. Oh, snapping the leg and the other end too. That'll lay up your chest. Saw that coming. Running clothesline. Oh, poor one's gonna come off the win. And now latching on. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. She has gotta somehow find a way out right now. And she does. Ripley's attack. Seven. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Kick to the gun. Uh oh, here it is. Big one. Is it enough? Two. two. And she kicks out at two. You have to think this. 
this match is starting to take its toll. A boss looking to end this. Banks locks it in. Banks takes it in. Last submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Is she? Oh, she won't tap. Not here. Not now. Suplex. Not done just yet. Part two. And looking for the trifecta. <laughs> done. Rear chin lock. And now just rapid fire punches. <laughs> Boom. Just a merciless kick across the back from the bus. Up high! Scoop slam! Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go! If that attack didn't already make it cover, is it enough? One, two, got it! No! Just a two! What a match! stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. The cross showing wherewithal. Ripley is down, and she might be out. Inside the ring is so important. One, two. Oh, somehow managed to keep this match going. Everyone thought that was three. Banks taking high risk. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. Up high! And she misses the mark. <laughs> Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Ah, oh, it didn't go as planned there. Right across the face. And she's a step ahead of Banks. And targeting the leg there. Rhea is putting that terrifying strength to work, fighting hard to get control over her opponent. Answering back! Absolutely. So is down, but she finally put this away. I was sure this one was up. We are looking to end this one right now. This will do it. The prism trap is in. This is not where the boss wanted to be. Yeah, no bank statement here. Reverse time here on Sasha. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Banks has to be discouraged here. Impressive sequence by Rick. Incredible, absolutely incredible. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Here comes the ball. The big stumble, locked in. Trouble in top out.
two set for competition. Yeah, watch out. Yeah, okay. Look at I, I expected this to happen at some point. This guy hasn't been able to keep his hands off him. The official telling the guy to get out of here, but come on, the damage has already been done. Yeah, apparently, they don't believe in a fair fight. The referee checking on him. And he says he's ready to go. This isn't fair at all. In this matchup, it's going to be interesting to see if Sheamus or Cesaro can establish physical dominance. Well, both men certainly pride themselves on having inhuman strength. Sheamus frequently growing stronger with every Celtic warrior workout. And Cesaro, he's just a freak of nature. We've seen him perform incomparable feats of strength inside the ring. Expect a very physical match to take place between the members of the bar. Clearly waiting for that. Oh my Look at goodness. This. From the ground up. Power slam. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Camera clutch locked in. It's not in dark. Now he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. He's been placed in the corner now. Just mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, what are they gonna do here? Oh, clover lane! Check out the torque on the back. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It might and he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Are you kidding me? High risk territory for Sheamus. Perched up top. You gotta be kidding me! Showing absolutely no apprehension of putting one's body on the line. Sheamus denies the attack. Into the ring. Five. And he's able to counter. Bam! Down he goes. Gentlemen, I think we're going swinging. Round and around and around we go. And this has got to be it. And he fights it off. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. The Swiss Cyborg looking to end things. Here we go. Cesaro might have put an end to this. Makes a cover. Two. Oh, shoulder up before three. Sheamus is still alive. The Celtic Warrior loves a fight and does not want this one to end. And for all of Cesaro's strength, he could not manage to gain the pinfall. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, right to the throat. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Ooh, he thinks he has it. Two. And a kick out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Oh, there's the other 
Ouch! And a blood kick! Oh, this is real bad for Cesaro. Try and end it. Universe to another hard-hitting match. I can't wait to